Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I am Adam McCola. We're outside the Molyneux. The Manchester United have drawn 1 1 with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Martial's goal in the first half is 50th goal for the club, giving United the lead. But Ruben Neves with a wonder strike in the second half, leveling it up for Wolves and meaning the points were split here in the Midlands. Disappointing. Disappointing. It feels like a missed opportunity for Manchester United. Now, if you would have said we draw here, you wouldn't be that disappointed. You wouldn't be that disheartened. It's a difficult place to come. We drew here a few times. Uh, sorry, we lost here uh, twice last season. We drew with them at Old Trafford. So we know they're a difficult team to come up against. But having gone 1-0 ahead in the first half through Martial's goal, uh, a fantastic goal as well for him. And then in the second half, having had that penalty, it feels like a massively missed opportunity to get three points and get a maximum start to the season. Um, at a, good, at a difficult place to come as well. So imagine you come here, you beat Chelsea 4-0, then you beat Wolves away from home. You go into the game against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford, bouncing with a spring in your step. It feels like a blow. It feels like a sucker punch draw in here. Um, but Wolverhampton Wanderers will probably feel they deserve the point. Uh, Manchester United will probably feel, you know, we'll get out of here with a point. It's not too bad. It could have been better, but it wasn't. Um, first half, we dominated possession. I think we had 60, 70% of the ball. There was a few moments where he's a little bit hairy. And I think once the players get used to playing that fast-paced, frenetic, high-energy football, they'll iron those things out. But there's a few moments where you think, whoop, giving the ball away or nearly giving the ball away. But overall, we dominated the possession. And then there was one moment where Marcus Rashford twisted the Wolves fullback inside out, whipped the ball across, and Martial just couldn't get on the end of it in the six-yard box. And then shortly after that, um, he found Mar Martial again, Marcus Rashford, and Martial buried the ball with a fantastic strike to make it 1-0. Just before the break, he was running through on goal, and the ball got stuck under his heel when you're thinking if he gets that in his stride, it's going to be 2-0 to Manchester United. A missed opportunity, and it did come back to haunt Manchester United in their second half. It could have been 2-0. It could have been so much better. Jesse Lingard had an opportunity where he swung at the ball, just missed it, um, and then the ball obviously went past him in the area. United couldn't score the opportunity, and then Paul Pogba with that penalty. It was a good one too with Anthony Martial between him and himself. Got the ball in the box, went past the defender. He would have scored probably um, if he got past the defender. The defenders brought him down. It's a definite penalty. VAR went to, it did go to VAR, but the penalty was given. Pogba, it's a decent effort to be fair. It was a good save by the keeper, but he'll be disappointed he didn't bury it. United will be disappointed. And then it starts to questions as well because we've just had Marcus Rashford score a penalty against Chelsea. Of course, maybe... There's a thing where if you win it, you know, Marcus Rashford won that one. Maybe if Martial won this penalty, Martial would have took it. If Rashford won the penalty, Rashford would have took it. Pogba won it. He took it. He missed it. Rui Patricio with the save. And it was 1-1 in the end for Manchester United. Maybe a little bit of a concerning case in terms of the depth that we've got coming off the bench substitution. So matter. Greenwood coming on. Obviously, Greenwood's a young player. If he doesn't start firing from the immediate, immediately, um, then of course, it's, it's not going to be great for Manchester United. Um, we're not going to have that depth in those fire, uh, in those um, attacking areas. So United need need something from the bench. And if Greenwood doesn't give it, it does give you a little bit of a worry. Is Alexis Sanchez going to go? I couldn't care less about Alexis Sanchez leaving. It's just in terms of options. We've got a very, very few numbers. And especially when you think we're going to pay his wages. Is he that bad around the team? Is he that bad around training? He must be. But big pressure on Greenwood when he's coming off the bench in these types of games and that's the thing that I feared now of course we're not going to get downbeat we're not going to get too disheartened we've got Crystal Palace coming up next four points out of six Wolves is a difficult place to come Ch Chelsea coming up next and then of sorry Chelsea Wolves four points out of six Palace coming up next and then of course a massive opportunity to make it seven points out of nine and then you look at that and think it's not been too bad of a start to the season, but it does feel like a missed opportunity here at the Molyneux. 1-1, Manchester United dropped two points and disappointed. Disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed, which is the worst way to feel. You know, when your parents used to give you that when you was a kid. <sighs> Shame his mind still give it me now. Anyway, my man of the match was Aaron Wambasaka. 
I think after about 10, 15 minutes, I'd lost count about how many tackles he'd won. He's literally everywhere. The guy's a jolt. wan gets my man in a match. Honourable mention to Anthony Martial, uh, who took his goal fantastically well. 50 goals for Manchester United now. Two out of two for him. Two out of two for Rashford. That's four in two games for them. We need them to keep firing throughout the season. It was just a shame we couldn't put that penalty away to get three points here. Guys, let us know who your man of the match was in the comments below. Keep it like to full-time devils. Like, comment, share, subscribe for now. I've been Adam McCullough. I'm out of here.